compound events. A compound event is one where there is more than one possible outcome. Let's look at our die example again. So the probability of getting a two is one out of six, because there's six faces on the die and only one of them is a two. The probability of getting a four is also one out of six, because there's only one four, but six faces. What's the probability of getting a two or a four? Well, this is an example of a compound event where when we roll the die, we can only get a two or a four. We can't get the two and the four together, but they're two different scenarios. And for compound events, we need to find each one and add them together. So this is the same thing as getting the probability of a two plus the probability of getting a four. We just worked out the probability of getting a two, that's one out of six. And we just worked out the probability of getting a four, which is also one out of six. Here we've got two fractions with the same denominator. So we just add the numerators to get two out of six. And it can be simplified by dividing both by two. And we get one out of three. So it's a one in a three, one in three chances of getting a two or a four. So compound events, need to remember, we need to add those probabilities together. So sometimes we do have to be careful because things can overlap. Let's have a look at the problem. So let's, we're looking at cards this time and our normal pack of playing cards where there's 52 cards. And to do that, we're gonna to need to know the cards consists of uh, hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades, and a few other things. Let's have a look at. So what's the probability of getting a heart or an ace? And the thing we have to be careful about here is that one card in particular is the Ace of Hearts. Because if we were going to treat this as the probability of getting a heart plus the probability of getting an Ace, let's have a look. Probability of getting a heart, well there's 52 cards in the deck and 13 of them are hearts plus Probably of an ace, well, there's still 52 cards in the deck, and there's four aces in the deck, and adding these together gives us 17 out of 52. But is that correct? Because what we've done here is that inside our 13 hearts, one of them is an ace, and inside these four aces, one of them is a heart. So we've actually counted that card twice. So to make this correct, we've got to subtract any overlapping cards or any overlapping events and only one of them is overlapping it's the ace of hearts and doing this gives us 16 out of 52 and these are both divisible by 4 to simplify it and we get 4 out of 13 and that is the correct probability so that one is actually incorrect so just got to be careful sometimes and account for some overlapping events with compound events.